Here we are, Grand and Rising. Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Beautiful souls in this work. I don't know we are not of this world. Cool baby day. I don't know the thing already. Here we are, Grand and Rising, on this beautiful and blessed Thursday Rising. Disclaimer, you guys may hear my four-legged sons in the background okay but just disregard them today i really wanted to encourage all of us myself included and i said i but holy spirit really wants us all to be encouraged right now um i know sometimes you get into places and spaces and seasons even where you just don't have it in you to pray you don't have it in you to worship you don't have it in you to read and open that bible like you, you it's just not there and if we're honest with ourselves we can say that, you know, there's plenty of times, especially when we're going through different storms. I mean, when everything is going good, it's like, yeah, I'm fired up. I'm this and I'm that. But a lot of people don't talk about the, the parts of this walk, the parts of this journey where you don't feel like going to the throne. You don't feel like it, right? We are still in this thing called flesh. As long as we're in this thing, oh, believe you're going to have those moments. You're going to have those times, those seasons even. But today, beloved, I want to encourage you just like Holy Spirit encouraged me that it is those moments where you actually make yourself do what your spirit man is yearning for, what your spirit man is hungry for. You know, I read something not too long ago and it said, when you don't feel like praying, that's the time you need to force yourself to pray because that's the enemy trying to keep you away from doing the very thing that's going to have you right there at the brink of your breakthrough, right there at the brink of your miracle, right there at the brink of your promise my god and let me tell you how if god promised you something a lot of us we get distracted and discouraged by the storm we get distracted and discouraged by the trials and the tribulations and the circumstances and the struggles and and we get we get we get so discouraged and and distracted beloved but i come here to tell you today let the storm be the indication Hallelujah. Let the storm and the trial and the tribulation and that situation that you just don't see no way out. Let that be the indication that, okay, I'm at the brink of something. Okay. I'm at the brink of a promise. Okay. I'm at the brink of a miracle. Okay. I'm at the brink of a breakthrough. Let that be the indication and move accordingly, beloved. If you have to make yourself do it, just do it. And if you got to start by just lifting your hands and saying, Lord, I surrender it all to you. Let that be the start. Because I'm telling you something. The Holy Spirit is our what? Our helper. Okay? If, if, if you're feeling the tussle and the hustle and the bustle to try to get in the presence of God, let me tell you something. Your Holy Spirit is going to help you. He is your helper. He is your advocate. So you start. He will finish. Hallelujah. You raise your hands and say, Lord, with tears rolling down your face. You raise your hands and say, Lord, I surrender it all to you. Let me tell you how Holy Spirit will take it from there. Holy Spirit will take it from there. Before you know it, you're going to have the unction and the urge to open that word. Before you know it, you're going to have the unction and the urge to go on fasting. Before you know it, you're going to have the unction and the, and the urge to talk to your Allah. And even the Bible says that even when you don't, have the words to say holy spirit will come in on your behalf and pray for you and utter and groan where god can understand for you why because holy spirit is your helper beloved you weren't meant to do this thing alone you are meant to do this thing alone. It's a reason why Jesus had to ascend and Holy Spirit had to descend. You think that's just for, oh, for show? No, none of this is for show. And God is not of coincidence. There's no coincidence why Holy Spirit had to descend for us. So beloved, I encourage you today, 
if all you do is lift up your hands, if all you do is just lay there in his presence, I told you guys, if you've been keeping up with the last Grand Risings, this is me. This is me. I'm very transparent, very blunt, very bold, very open and honest with you guys. Y'all know that. This has been me for the last couple of weeks. I didn't have the words. I didn't have the prayer. I didn't have the worship. I was not in my word. But I laid there in his presence. I spoke to him and telling him that I don't have the words. I spoke to him and telling him to search my heart. Do the work that I cannot do because right now I don't have it in me. And let me tell you something. Again, when you put one good foot forward, the Holy Spirit will come in like a flood. The Holy Spirit will literally come in like a flood. And I can tell you right now, currently I am on a a, a corporate three-day fast. No food, just water. And did I, if I didn't have the, the, the urge to pray, read the word, much less I definitely had no urge to fast. No, because one thing about me, I'm... When I am like in a worry type of place or a stressing type of place, um, or I'm just not feeling good overall, like I'm a stress eater. So I will eat, okay? So fasting was the last thing I was thinking about to do or had the urge to do. But Holy Spirit came in on my behalf. And he's such a beautiful, beautiful helper that I'm not on this fast alone. Hallelujah, which means I'm in agreement with other people believing, which means we are, we locking something in y'all. We are locking something in. And for those of you that are watching this and you know for a fact that you are currently on this fast with me, man, I just want to speak over you and tell you that God is about to blow your mind. God is about to blow, and he started already for a lot of you. For a lot of you, he has already started. Your mind has already been blown in the last seven days. God is about to blow. You think that's nothing? You're not seeing nothing yet. God is about to blow your mind. Hallelujah. So, beloved, I come to tell you, and I'm going to leave you with this scripture. Lean not on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways. Not some of your ways, not the ways that you think is going to look good to God. No, in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will surely direct your paths. Beloved, be encouraged. Go to that scripture, read the whole chapter, meditate. Let that be the word that you meditate on today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because that was for me. I don't know about y'all, but that right there was for me. That's going to be the word that I meditate on today. Okay? And so if you feel moved to do that, let that be you. Meditate on it. Read it out loud with the power of your tongue. Receive it and believe it and put it on the tablets of your heart. And just go flow with the flow of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. I love you guys so much. God is literally waiting for us to move and shift into His ways into his will and it's history from that it's history from that look at your forefathers david abraham moses isaac oh god it's history from that so i love you guys big up on bless up yourself <laughs> make sure you go to the website www.cb17visions with a z at the end dot com make sure you are tapping and tuning in to coolie baby expresses podcast we are currently in season three there has been some mishaps but we're not stutting those we're not paying we're not we're not being distracted we're just gonna continue to go continue to flow take god with us hold his hand and continue to go when things are out of its norm that's god shaking things up to put it in his order to put it in his order what you thought was order was chaos what god knows is order is what you need in your life so beloved stay open stay an open vessel for abba to be used to use you and to 
to use his his grace and his mercy and let his miracles fall in. Let 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 him be able to reveal himself to you so you can actually see his character. Not for what the church told you who God was. Not for what your father, son, brother, grandpa, whoever told you who God was. But who God shows you or reveals to you his character of who he truly is. Man, I love you guys so much. Big up and bless up yourself. Be blessed on this Thursday. Mwah. Oh, 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 oh,